No, wait, no, no, no. That one is the one I want. At least switch to the gaming uh, 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 thingy. Oh. Turn that down a bit as well. And my brain dead again. But hello, boy, today is obviously Thursday. And my injury feels a little bit better compared to yesterday. I think I slept a little, just a teensy bit better than than before. But as I say, we'll see how long that fucking lasts. Hopefully, hopefully, blah, 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 blah. hopefully, when that GG comes in, into more, because as far as caffeinated stuff comes, that pow those powdered energy drinks seem to work better than most other energy drinks. Even better than the fucking monster. With most other energy drinks, they mostly like last me like maybe an hour or two before I start feeling tired. But at least with, with like the powder type stuff, like the advanced GGs and what have you, they last me somewhat a little bit longer. <laughs> but uh, my brain went dead. It went dead again, and again. But today, I'm playing some games in the pad. We're going. We're going, blah, 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 we're going to be doing uh, Navius uh, store. Story quests because a lot of these 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 character story quests can sometimes lead into parts for like event stuff or or main story stuff. So it's fun to do, but also important to to do. So I don't have to worry about doing those when they come around. <clears throat> so I think with that aside, uh, we will switch to the game and hopefully, hopefully my tracking stays up because the other day like the 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 the, the thing tracks my uh, hands and stuff was going all haywire. It was acting like. My arms were moving when they weren't moving. Yes, let's now switch to that. I think I've got enough keys for this. Oh, that's different how it, uh, how it changed how the layout goes. Because usually you click on it and you have to go to your. Uh, uh, Quest to select it. That's handy. So the little things that matter. Actually, I think. Yeah, because there's only a couple of days left of the banner. I already got now, but they've 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 announced the next banner, which has um. Uh, the Biden Shogun, uh, in it, which I already have her in a spot. Wow, my brain. Wow, wow. I am really sorry. This is another day when my brain is just like fucked for some reason. I don't know what it is. Worse. Also, I seem to keep jinxing the weather because yesterday it said it wasn't going to ra rain. Now today it is going to rain, and, and lucky for me, it's happened when I have to go to work. So yay! <sighs> the only thing is just I don't have my match GG because I said fucking energy drinks only help so much. But I guess it's better than nothing, right? Well, if it isn't my dear partners. That voice, it's Navia. Who the entire fandom seems to think she looks like Taylor Swift. I kind of see it. <laughs> I didn't expect to run into you guys here today. Are you headed somewhere? Just, ju just getting our daily dues for the... For adventuring in. How about you, Navia? Are you still busy rebuilding Poisson? Poisson? Uh, we've wrapped up most of the rebuilding, but there are still a few things left to take care of. Stocking up on materials, confirming construction timelines, discussing compensation terms with families affected by the disaster. Uh, uh, between all of that, I've been making a lot of trips between the court and Poisson. Poisson? Isn't speed... Do, do, sp I, I'm not going to try Well, to uh, though the victims have received relief payments from the court, in my opinion, as the administrators of Poisson, Spina Poisson? di Rosula should take some responsibility as well. Our financial situation right now isn't the best, so all we've been doing is signing agreements for the damages to be repaid at a later date. Hmm. 
Though just pieces of paper now, they demonstrate our commitment. They're necessary to restore the people's faith in us. Oh, spoken like a true president. You are a really responsible leader. That must be taking up most of your time though, right? Oh, you bet. Between that and all the other errands I have to run at the court, I'm always forgetting one thing or another. So before I came over this time, I took a page from Elusa's book and decided to make a list of everything. This way, it's easy to see which tasks you haven't checked off. And then? And then, hmm. since Malus loved using shorthand, I decided to also follow his example and come up with some shorthand of my own. But after running a few errands in the city, I'm kind of struggling to even read my own handwriting anymore. <laughs> that does sound like you, all right. So what kind of shorthand did you use? Oh, want to take a look? Let Paimon see! Wait, there's nothing here but a bunch of weird symbols. This looks like a... a piece of kelp wrapped around a stick. And this other one... Um... Is it supposed to be a boar in a box? A <laughs> boar in a box! That's, that isn't really shorthand. Hmm... Uh, the first one has to do with confirming the final payment amount for the fishermen. Well, the second one is a reminder to try the new burger that just hit the market. Cause those feel like those feel like more like uh, uh, uh cryptic uh thing. Uh, that's a word for it where people may don't put the exact words they put. They put symbols or things that allude to the thing, the thing that they're, they're supposed to be written down uh, to keep. You should keep secret secrets secret meetings and stuff like secret my brain is really just fucked today this is two days in a row where i'm just like well thankfully these story events tend to be fairly short okay Byman can definitely see how you might forget what each of these mean maybe just just use these and symbols next time <laughs> thank you for your advice these are the kinds of things you only really figure out once you've tried them out yourself I thought that as long as I understood my shorthand when I came up with it, I'd be sure to remember the symbols when I looked at them later. Unfortunately, I've definitely proven myself wrong. Well, now you know for next time. Anyway, I should have already taken care of most of the things on the list. There are still a few symbols that I can't decipher, but I don't think they're anything too super important. Are you sure about that? It could be super important. Worst comes to worst, I'll just make another trip. Ah, so you're going to head back now? Yep, that's the plan. Oh, actually, since we talked about the reconstruction earlier, want to come with me and check out the town for yourself? You said you don't have any plans, right? So we can just catch a boat and head over. It won't take long at all. <laughs> well, you can. I'm going fast travel. Uh, it's a bit sudden, but Byron doesn't see why not. What do you think, Traveler? I, uh, I'd be. It'd be interesting to. Then let's go. To, to we'll take a boat over. Oh, you mean the Aquabus, right? Like the Clementine one? Oh, sorry. I meant our own boat. The Aquabus doesn't have a station near Poisson, so we'll use one of the Spina's boats. Sure. All right, good. follow me. I'll take you there. Is it there? I'm getting a secret special boat. Ooh. Mm, the engineer is still doing a few routine safety checks. We can head out as soon as we get the green light. So, Paimon has always wanted to ask. The three Aquabus lines are all named after people in your family, right? Yeah, that's right. Callus and Navia are self-explanatory, while Clementine was the name that my mother went by. Aww. It's 
speed dude speed <laughs> was one of the main supporters of them right if you provided the mora to build the lines then why isn't there even a dedicated line to Poisson? Poisson? Spina di Rosula built all the lines, yet you still have to take a special boat just to go home. Paimon doesn't get it. Well, what I heard is that most of our businesses don't actually use Poisson as a hub. So there was no real reason to build a line straight to Poisson. You are right that it is a bit strange though. If you've already committed to build three lines, why not just add a fourth? Ooh, we said what this is gonna be out. Let's find out why there isn't a direct line to Spossum. Yeah, that's what Paimon's saying. The Aquabus is so convenient, it's really a huge shame. Well, it is what it is. You know what my father was like. Even I often struggled to figure out what was going on in his head. I mean, you use the Aquabuses, I use fast travel. <laughs> uh, well, something something that big also wouldn't have been been just th this call. Cool. <laughs> but that would only be the case if he cared about what others thought. My father was always really stubborn. Once he made up his mind, good luck getting him to change it. From what I've heard, the rights of all the other members of the Spina only went as far as giving him advice or suggestions, and no farther. That included my mother, too. Huh. Well, that explains why you weren't on the greatest of terms with him. Yeah. Because I wouldn't just let him keep getting his way. He was just... <sighs> not very agreeable. Boss, the boat's ready. We can head out. Alright, then let's head out! It'll be a while before we get to Poisson. Let's keep talking. Alright. Hmm, Nabia, what was your mother like as a person? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She totally forgot that you mentioned before that she passed away during childbirth, so you probably don't remember her at all. Uh, that's all right. I've heard many stories about her from the rest of the Spina. They've always said that they were sure we would have gotten along famously. Aww. While my papa was stiff like a board, my mother was supposedly super cheerful and funny. Their complementary personalities allowed them to make up for each other's flaws. My father would run the businesses and expand our reach, while my mother would keep the peace and make sure that everyone was happy. Their work made sure that the Spina could grow and thrive. Sounds like they were not just a well-matched couple, but fantastic business partners as well! Yeah. But those are just stories and anecdotes, after all. It's hard for me to piece together a more complete or intimate picture of her. But sometimes, I'd still look at the Clementine line and wonder, would the Spina and Poisson still be what they are today had my mother survived? So wait, her mother's name is Clementine? After a fruit? Silver once said that a name is a kind of inscription a way to etch a memory into the world. When given a name, a cold, inanimate object can gain a completely new meaning. So, I will always associate the line with her in my heart. Aww. Over the past few weeks, I've also begun to appreciate how water can take in and hold our most intense feelings and memories, as well as how one may reflect on their past by watching the sea. I've lost many beloved people and memories to the sea. Even though I cannot stop for them and must continue to keep moving. Hmm. The fact won't change that they existed in my life and gave me the reason and motivation to move forward. Do you miss them? Always. 
But no matter what, we can't change the past. You yeah, know, we might find a time machine, we might find a blue box just parked somewhere that might be after you. I tell myself that I need to keep looking towards the future. Everyone, even my parents, have already overcome so many obstacles. Besides, I'm the president of Spina di Rosula. I've got to keep my chin up. It's a chin up. I know it's a figure of speech. Still, I I, I wait until they do the end up. Huh, I, I don't know. The shore. Let's go. I'll show you the new poisson. Poisson? Um, for them to do time travel. I, it's just, it just feels like it's there. It's just almost like they I can just see them doing time travel in this. Even if it's like for an event. Navia, do you think she's doing all right? No, she's doing all left, actually. <laughs> she seems to be managing. Okay, Paimon supposes you're right. She's really been through a lot. It couldn't have been easy shouldering so much by herself. I wish I noticed that thing dangling up there. I'm not gonna go for it, we'll find it for now. I mean, I could just walk down here, or I could just... You know, do this. Save a little bit of time. Be a little bit lazy. I mean, croissant looks about the same as before. Not much has really changed. I mean, if it's more tidied up now, but other than it. We're gonna go sneeze again. I can go sneeze. Boss, you're back! Traveler in Paimon. Welcome back to Poisson. Poisson? Oh, hey! Fancy seeing you again, Florent. Is it your turn to take care of Navia now? <laughs> Hey, I can totally take care of myself. For the time being, I'll go around without any attendance. We did hand over some of Malus's old responsibilities to Florent, though. It's been really nice to have him around to help out. Thank you for the compliment, boss. As you see, I've been working closely with the boss on rebuilding Poisson. Poisson? Mr. Malus was an extremely capable and respected member of the Spina. I've got some really big shoes to fill. All right, all right. There's no need to be so formal. Everyone's practically old friends by now. Were you waiting here for me? Did we manage to make any progress on the statue? Yeah, we contacted a sculptor about the job. But they can't get started on sourcing a correctly sized block without knowing the design that we want to use first. You're commissioning a statue? Imagine of, of her father? Ah, so basically, we've been meaning to commission a statue of my parents in commemoration ah. of everything they've done for the Spina That's and close. the town of Poisson. We're just off by one parent. But uh, since my father was known as Callus the Unfaithful for the longest time, it would have been too controversial to commission a statue of him. Ah. Fair point, fair point. Uh, sorry, one of the cats was wandering around, wandering around the room and I was wondering what he was doing. Let's be careful with cats, especially when you have computers and and and, and stuff. My name, uh, it, it was just derived from my uh, username, my online ID. I just took the first part of it off um, and used the ha second half of it. That, that, I think that's what most people do when it comes to like um, becoming, you know, VTubers or streamers, online content creators. They just go off that their online IDs were for like mo for video games or what they've used in the past for profiles. I think most the majority of them is. I oh, like it. Like I think always a good example is Jack Septicai. His was just a nickname he had since he was a kid, and he used that for like online stuff, and then just used that as the name for his channel. That's my best advice uh, when it comes to uh, coming up with uh, names. 
uh, for, for, for stuff like these. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of even VTuber ones sound like they were like online names, uh, like for like uh, multiplayer playing games and stuff like that. It was mainly derived also from my old YouTube channel because I also used to do uh, Let's Play content, not VTuber, just normal content. Didn't ha start to lose f interest in it. Gave this a try and had more fun with this, but I wanted to differentiate, my bleh, differentiate myself from that channel. So I just took away the first part of it and used the second half of the name, which is this name, Bellamy. That's about that's about it. I hope that helps. But now that his name has been cleared and the town is also being rebuilt, I thought this would be the perfect chance to actually realize this dream. The funds to build the statue were freely donated by the people of Poisson to show their appreciation for Miss Clementine and Mr. Callus and everything they did. Thank you. Now I've got to be... Me? I'm just the newbie president that's running around and causing everyone trouble. Hmm, fair enough, fair enough. But then again, it might be okay. I mean, this I can't think of any like you, YouTubers or streamers or VTubers use names or stuff. But there was, uh, there's that, uh, I mean, I haven't done music in a while, but it was the band McFly, and their name was derived from Marty McFly from Back to the Future, which is a very well known movie, and they stuck, stuck with it. Um, and then there's also uh, Kuru K K9. Uh, before he debuted, people were already making joke, which is a, which is uh, which is a name from a character from One Piece, Captain Kuru. So it's it's it, 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 there's no one one, one with have, having it. I mean, at first people probably will associate it from that character, but now after a while, people won't. Um, so. So it it, it it doesn't really matter if it's from an anime character because also anime character names are actual names. There's probably people in Japan with names like, like I just mentioned, Koro. Um, so they, they didn't worry about that either. With his with his with the VTuber, true. Like I said, I mean, most people who associated with were One Piece fans, and not everyone watches One Piece, but that could be the same with any other anime. Um, I mean, te technically, there's a there's a pirate in One Piece called Bellamy as well, so there's that too. So my name is technically associated with a could be associated with a uh, uh, an anime character as well. Because not everyone watches every anime, so some people might not even know it is as well. <sighs> Maybe we can have this conversation again in a few decades, once I've done more for the town and the people. Hey, there's no need to be so humble. Didn't you just help save the entire country? I agree wholeheartedly. I also believe that Ba should have a place on the statue. My brain's in that thing where it's generally trying to think because I feel like I've definitely seen a VTuber with a Because Kuro is the only one that comes to mind, like I said, that is similar to an anime character. But now there's a part of my brain that feels like there might be another one. There's so many VTubers out there. But like I said, I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't, uh, like, um, 
uh, worry about it too much uh, when it comes to like uh, being similar. Because a lot of people name their 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 their, their online ideas after counters they like, and then end up maybe using them for that. Demon yeah. bells. I think I think I'm gonna sneeze again. Hey, I can feel a sneeze coming on. I think the the most the most you I would be worried about is if like Goku was in your name or something like that. Something that's very very much associated with a character or Luffy or Naruto. That would be a problem. That would be worth like changing. Because like a lot of people, they make their their online names decades ago and never think that they're gonna use it for anything else than that that's why you do find people like they just like oh i like this anime i'll put th this character's name as long as it's not something like that i think it's usually relatively okay i might not i might need to sneeze <laughs> If you keep inflating my ego like this, I might just float off into the sky with my parasol. <sighs> hmm. But I've never really uh, heard of the na that name myself. Like I said, I just use those examples because they're very popular um, uh, 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 characters that even people who don't watch a lot of anime would know who those are. It's it, it's it's like the Koro thing I mentioned. That's a character in one. I don't think he chose that name specifically because of that, but that is a character in One Piece. But unless you watch One Piece, you're not going to know know that. But if you if you use the main character, people are going to know that because if you don't watch One Piece, everyone knows who Luffy is. Or Zoro, or or, or Sanji, uh, as examples. I think Sanji's not too bad of a name for like a, a cow uh, for 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 a VTuber. Well. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no way that I'd accept that kind of compliment at face value. At a minimum, I'd have to match what my father did for the people. <sighs> Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. I just don't think I'm ready yet. Anyway, Florent, now it's up to us to confirm the final design, right? Mm-hmm. We can ask the sculptor to start looking for a good block once we've decided on the poses for Miss Clementine and Mr. Callus. But we haven't had any real discussions yet on the possible designs. I feel like I should get a few promising designs first, and then send them over to you to review. Eh, there's no need for all that. Let's decide on a design right now. Hey, you! Come over here with me. I mean, if we want to talk about examples and names, if you notice the traveler's name here, for, for me, is Deku. Because before I, before I jumped into VTube and I just played this, and most of the times I would use my real name um, when creating characters. But every so often I get sick and tired and I just choose whatever pops into my head sometimes. And that's why he's called Deku. Because it was just the first thing that popped into my head. So the, the traveler in, in my place was called Deku and not called uh, 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 Bellamy. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best thing that comes up in there. Just think of the first thing that comes into your head, and then maybe that could be a good choice for it for a name. Because that's where that's uh. But then again, oh, there goes that brain. 
I mean, Deku isn't too bad one because although people associate with my hero, there's also the Deku tree from 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 Zelda. Modeling a few poses, of course. <laughs> Here, just pretend to be callous, and I'll be Clementine. That's um. But it's always important to go what you're comfortable with. If you're used to having a certain username, why not just use it? Um, and 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 not worry and not worry to what uh, it being similar to an anime character. It's, it's where you feel comfortable with too as well. Because when I did start doing this, like I said, I wanted to differentiate it from the YouTube channel. I did try to come up with different names. And I couldn't really think of anything, so I just took, got rid of the first part of the name and used the second half, and that was that's how that that how that happened. Because anything else that came into my head just didn't feel right, and Bellamy we just felt right. Didn't you say on the boat that Callus and Clementine sounded like great partners? Well, then there's no one better to fill this role than my most valuable partner. Flora, let's grab some reference shots. You've got it, boss. I'll go get the camera. Well, what do you think? Got any ideas? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I've actually discussed it a bit with Florent before, but I could never come up with any fresh or original ideas. It's probably because my idea of them is already kind of set in stone. So, I want to pick your brain for a bit, and see if you can come up with some new and interesting ideas. I'm all good here, boss. Feel free to start posing whenever. Oh, whatever. Yeah, about... associate it with myself. There, yeah, there, uh, there you go. It's like, it, um... It's better than that, than, than, like, coming up with a new name to try and disassociate with something else and then um, trying to get used to that when you're used to something that you're just familiar with. Okay, then let's try something impressive. Can we do this as a pose, guy? <laughs> That'd be, be fun if the statue was pose just them going. Imposing, huh? Oh, I've got it. Let's try this. Ooh, that looks more sassy than pose than imposing. This pose, it makes me recall Sfina de Rasula's glorious golden age. Oh, was love to that lovely chatting too. A bit too bold Bye. and heroic. Uh, was she really that kind of person? If we were to stick with this pose, maybe people would wonder if she was actually the real boss behind the scenes. Hmm. Well, tabloids did indeed speculate as much back in the day, but the spin up pulled a few strings and made both the report and the journalist uh, disappear. Probably not that kind of disappearing, right? Oh, Paimon was just kidding! Please don't make Paimon disappear! <laughs> <laughs> what Florent meant was that we asked the journalist to choose a new alias. Oh. You're right, though, that this may not accurately represent the image of her in our hearts. Let's try to come up with something else. Let's say, how about this to oppose? I actually have this say I actually have this saved as like a as a as a PMG because it's just perfect sometimes for the thumbnails. <laughs> okay, then let's try looking into let's try the second a one. happy pose. You mean something like we were laughing together at a funny joke? Uh, yeah, something like that. 
Uh, would all that be able to come through with just a picture? Would we even be able to tell what they are supposed to be laughing about? Yeah, and that'd probably be a massive pain to sculpt as well. Could try. Hmm. Could one of you try striking a pose like you're talking while the other one laughs? Like, I don't know what like. Like, like that. Something else. Well, like this, just pose. I do need to get. A, I'm trying to. I'm point. I'm raising my one arm up and pointing, pointing to the sky. The tracking's not. I need to get a better webcam when I can. Ha! Hey, webcam when I can. Because the reason the tracking is said enough times. The reason the tracking goes all haywire is because the field of view is only like literally the box around me. That is a box. That is. There's basically as far as it can go. So you can only track so much. Need a camera, a better f a field of view. Frankly, they're not too expensive, but still, uh, more important things to sort out at the moment. Uh, we tried a bunch of different ideas, but none of them felt right. Paimon's all out of brain juice now, too. Let's try looking in. Ah, uh, by that, do you mean as if we were standing on a boat and looking out at the sea? Sure, let's give that a try. Aww. That actually looks, that actually looks good, actually. Whoa, you really remind Paimon of a captain and their first mate. Look over there, my dear Clementine. <laughs> As you can see, every tree on that island is dripping with mora fruit. <laughs> mm, but there's something off with the composition. This pose makes Mr. Callus look too tall next to the lady. Wait, was he a short? Was he a short king? Was her dad a short ass? <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Uh, then let's swap. Is it? Uh... All right. Well, Paimon is a fan. A statue like this would look fantastic on a boat. Wait, but we can't do that. Very few people would see the statue if we were to put it on a boat. This statue is meant to be placed in the town. Well, the town has a boat in it. You'd stick it on there, problem solved. But then, since we're putting it in the town, the whole point of the pose would be lost. Oh, okay. We'll try to think of something else. Oh, that's, that's a, no. I love that pose. But no. Uh, we tried a bunch of different ideas, but none of them felt right. Paimon's all out of brain juice now, too. I love that feeling. Oh. Don't worry, we still got a lot of reference shots out of the session, and each of them can be considered to be a souvenir in their own right. Let's just keep the ideas we tried as backups. Man, it's fine. Up, I do the same. I uh, when it, when it comes to different poses for like thumbnails and things, I do a bunch of different ones and just keep them in case of like, oh, I never know, this one looks good. I might keep it. You never know what it could be good for a thumbnail. <laughs> um. Uh, I guess I'm bringing. Because I use I use a software that allows you to just pose. What's it called? I have it on the computer somewhere. Yeah, it's VRM pose pose posing desktop. That's living there. It's on Steam, and it's it it, 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 it and, you, and you can just pose your model. You can do like you can just free reign it, free reign it, and mess around yourself. All those lots of like preset ones that people upload, and you can just choose. Which is a lot of handy when you want like good poses, especially when you want meme ones like the tracking not enough. You know the pointing and ga ga uh, the at least the reacting or whatever it's the guys with the pointing behind them and then I go. Man, 
If I knew I was going to do a photo shoot with the Traveler, I would have prepared a lot of outfits and props ahead of time. <laughs> that a matter of fact? For you or for me, or for both of us? Oh, outfits! Ugh, that's the errand I forgot back in the city. Do either of you still remember that girl? The girl I went to see with you two. Her name is Adele. Like the singer. Singer. Oh, Grandma remembers her. She was the one that we met while investigating Mr. Callis's case, right? She always believed that her father was a good person. Yes, that's exactly who I'm talking about. So, after the case, she was finally willing to talk to me. And she told me that she wanted to join the Spina, too. Well, how about that? I said that it's fine, but young children are not allowed to join the Spina. She will just have to wait a few years, and then we'll welcome her with open arms. Since she's still a child, though, she thought I was just trying to let her down gently. Oh. But how could I get her to believe that I meant what I said? In the end, I came up with an idea. I'd have a Spina uniform made and give it to her as a gift. Aww. What would the uniform look like? It's really hard to tell if the Spina dealer, Spina dealer, I mean, hers looks, her own outfit looks like some, uh, someone head of an organization would wear, but the other people just seem to be wearing suits and ties and sunglasses. But I got so busy and distracted in the city that I forgot to pick the uniform up. Uh, so I did forget something important after all. Don't worry, boss. I can send someone to pick it up right away. On the matter of the statue, we should still come up with a few more ideas for the design. I'll have to trouble you to source some for me. I think that's why the tracking keeps going haywire, because I rest my arms on my chair arms, and I think they're just out of the field of view, which it shouldn't have been in the past. Maybe if I sit back a bit. And so, because it, it can just about see an arm if it doesn't know what it is. We could have just done that from the start. At least this, this way we got some cool pictures. Uh, yeah, you're right. They'll have some value as souvenirs at least. <laughs> we can frame them up, make postcards out of them. <laughs> Navia! Florent, guess who's back? Huh? But aren't you supposed to... Oh, well, if it isn't Coulter. Back already from the Fortress of Meripede? <laughs> That's right. I finally finished serving my time. Gotta say, it turns out I was a lot tougher than I thought. After I got out, I immediately made a beeline back to Poisson. Poisson? You'd say that familiar briny smell became a primal call, urging me to forget everything else and just come back home. You wouldn't believe how much I've missed Melissa's grilled fish. I dreamed about it every time I had to get a welfare meal down there underneath the sea. It's good to have you back, Coulter. You look as well as ever. It looks like he hasn't got any sleep. And this guy is? Oh, I guess we're not supposed to know who he is. Ah, let me introduce you. This is Coulter, another of Spina di Rosula's members. He was found guilty and sentenced to the Fortress of Meripede some time ago. Guilty of what? But, looking at it now, it was probably another one of Marcel's plots while he worked at the Confrerie of Cavriere. Wait, wait, Mr. Marcel? What do you mean? He was involved in some sort of plot? Have you not heard anything at all about the water from the Primordial Sea case? Well, I know that Fontaine got flooded, but then the water levels miraculously receded. I thought that was all there was to it and didn't care to ask for any more details. Do you mean Mr. Marcel was somehow involved with all that? Oh, looks like we'll have to explain everything from the top. That case, uh, a lot of things have happened in Poisson since then. Poisson? 
first things first, let me introduce you to these two. They're my most trusted partners, and they've been with me through thick and thin. Now you could call them Spina di Rosula's VIP helpers. Oh, it's also, um, you can actually technically change the traveler's name again. If you just go into the menu, you can change the name. So if I wanted to, I could change it back to Ben me, but I feel that uh, changed it to Ben me. But part of me just thinks it's funny him being called Deku. The reason being is because sometimes people get his voice actor mixed up with Deku's English voice actor. Because for some reason, people think they sound similar. They don't. But they do tend to play characters with a very like, soft spoken sounding voice. So I think it's just funny for him, for, 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 for him to be called uh, Deku. Oh, nice to meet you. I don't recall Navia ever generously complimenting anyone like that before. So you must be pretty amazing to get that from her. <laughs> yeah, we are indeed pretty amazing. But we've been cool since before we even met her. Oh right, right. Oh uh, yeah, right. My, no, never mind. Don't mind. Just follow. Just followed Navia. Navia's lead. Humble again, as always. I see. Even when I was totally sincere with my praise. I still wonder if these things on her spin around like they're like a fidget spinner. If I had those, I'd just be going <laughs> all the time. Nice, nice. Spina di Rosula always seems to attract great people. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Malus and Silver? Aren't they always by your side? Oh, that's awkward. Oh, about that. Coulter, a lot of things happened while you were gone. As you can see, even Poisson isn't quite the same as how it was before you left. They lost their lives, keeping me safe during the flood. What did you say? <laughs> she said this, they're dead. This isn't some kind of morbid welcome home prank, right? You're just scaring me on purpose because I don't know anything about what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> they weren't the only people we lost either. Many others, including Melissa, also lost their lives in the disaster. Luz and Melissa... dead? They're just... gone? Well... Actually, when they turn to see, seeing it... Luz... I was planning to give him a surprise gift once I ran into him again in town. I can't believe it. Keep it together. Malus and Coulter were friends for many years, and even served on many missions together during the early days of the Spina. I can understand how he feels. Um, let's sit down somewhere, so I can tell you everything that has happened while you were gone. Fair warning, there was a lot. I... okay. But I always keep an eye on the stream, as I said, because I don't trust it to stay together half the time. So it's all like multitasking, paying attention to what they're saying, and just keep a watchful eye on the stream to make sure nothing is going wrong. Hey, where am I going? Over there. I went completely the wrong way. See, look, that's a boat. You can have stuck it on there. Why do I have this sneaking suspicion again that this this new character we've never heard of is being introduced and is secretly going to be a bad guy? Just have that feeling. Well, he doesn't have the weird like servant accent the guy had in the 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 the, 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 the fortress because he talked kind of like this and that kind of gave me the vibes that he was a no good for nothing bad guy. <coughs> Cause like 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 a lot of that accent, like most like movies and TV shows, when when like especially when it's like in like that era, you have someone with talks like this, where it's very soft and 
very well sound welcoming uh, southern accent, but it turns out they're actually the bad guy. So that's why when we wise this one, it was like kind of obviously was the bad guy. You don't give someone an accent like that and it doesn't turn out to be the bad guy. It's unbelievable. I, I can't believe that those stories were real. It all really happened. Has the world gone mad? Poor police. All these events. I think you and I both feel the same way about the profound tragedy of Melusa's loss. And the sheer depravity of Marcel's actions. I thought Mr. Marcel would always stand by the Spina. Everything he had, the Spina gave to him. It's unconscionable to have received all that, and yet still plot to kidnap and dissolve you for his insane research. The good news is that the Confrérie of Cabriere is no more. Gone with them too is the entire synth manufacturing and distribution network. <sighs> we finally closed the curtain on that long struggle. Are you sure? But if Marcel wanted to rebel against us, he probably sent word in secret to Romeu. Romeu? That's not the same thing. Not a name I've heard before either. Florent should remember him. You see, there was once a major internal dispute regarding funding the construction of the Aquabus lines. Romeu was the leader of the faction that thought such a vast sum of mora would be better spent improving the town of Poisson. Poisson? But Mr. Callus believed that an opportunity to collaborate with the Court of Fontaine and the Fontaine Research Institute was hard to come by, and would allow us to build many valuable relationships. Not only would the Aquabus be a good business investment, it would also boost our reputation among the general populace, eventually paying us massive dividends down the line. But the two couldn't come to an agreement. Romeu ended up taking a lot of people with him when he left Spino di Rosula altogether, and the split was on extremely bad terms. Uh, and with Papa's stubbornness, I can definitely imagine how it must have gone down. And of course, when he was suffering the slings and arrows of outrageous injustice, those relationships that he spent a fortune to build didn't help in the least. Yeah, you could say it was the price he paid for sticking to his beliefs. That can't have been the first time I... Right? Oh, that's a good point. If Callus was really as stubborn as you say, then wouldn't he have argued with the rank and file all the time? Oh, yeah. It eventually became a thing that just happened on every day that ended with Y. But Navia, uh, I mean, boss, you might not know this, but he wasn't always like that. He used to be a lot better with taking counsel. With him listening to our advice, and Miss Clementine also frequently on our side, it was pretty smooth sailing for a good many years. Oh, but let me guess, when he, when he, her mother died... But on the matter of the Aquabus, even Ms. Clementine completely stood by Mr. Callus' side. Huh. I never knew. But from my perspective, Romeo's position had a lot going for it. Couldn't they have sat down and talked it out? I think the Aquabus was just the straw that broke the camel's back. On that topic, they eventually came to a rather radical conclusion. Ooh, why? They believed that Miss Clementine lost her ability to serve as an impartial mediator when she became pregnant with Callus's child. Oh. So they thought she had betrayed them? But that doesn't make any sense. Before she was their mediator, my mother was also her own person and a member of the Spina. She should have the right to take any side she wished. Yeah, but to them, even taking a side was betrayal enough. Oh, they felt like sorry. their voices could no longer be heard once their sole mediator had gone over to the other side. Of course, Ms. Clementine then passed away, 
and Mr. Callus began to regard the completion of the Aquabus project as her final wish. With that, the last hope of reconciliation was gone. So that's what happened. From that point on, Romeu and his people cut ties with the Spina and never gave us any kind of professional or personal courtesy ever again. Perhaps they've regarded us as enemies ever since they left. But even so, there is still no proof that they ever acted in concert with Marcel. I've also heard that they aren't in a good financial position, so they've been lying low for a while. But as long as they exist, they'll continue to be a threat. Huh. I think Coulter's got a point. Both Marcel and Romeu had my father in their sights for a very long time. Even though Marcel's faction has been dissolved, we still don't know anything about Romeu's whereabouts. If they're still trying to get revenge on us, with how distracted and vulnerable we are, now would be the best time. To strike! Good thinking, boss. Uh, we should sorry. keep an eye on them at all times. I'll let my men know right away. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Florent. And Coulter, thank you for telling me about this as well. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing. Do you have a moment right now? How about we go out for a walk? I've heard so many incredulous things today. I'm finding it a bit hard to calm down even now. I mean to think that I'll just never see them again. Ah, in that case, why don't we go back to the court? I can pick up Adele's uniform while we're there as well. It'll save Laurent's guys a trip. Want to come with me again, you two? You don't mind, do you, Coulter? Oh, uh, uh, of course. That's fine by me. Then let's go! Paimon feels like a lot's hinging on this visit. Heh. <laughs> want to see uh, Adele's uh, chair. <laughs> <laughs> we really are the best of partners. Come on, let's go. I need to actually pee, so I'm gonna go take a piss and I'll be back.
I'll yawn uh, travel. I'm gonna yawn if you end up yawning. Oh yeah. I found I can see where was it? Yeah, there, uh edit, an edit profile. Uh I did about even thinking last time. Okay. Let's change the profile. Oh there, that name. That's that. My brain is tired and it can't even read. Nickname. Ah, yes, there you go. Nickname. Which is this is what your nickname is. So I can change it if I want to. I can straight up just change it. Because it's starting to say nickname because it is nickname because both travelers do actually have a name. If I remember correctly, uh, the male traveler is called Aoife and the female traveler is called Lucimine. These are just their nicknames. Which I don't think it was listed as that when it first when it first when it first released. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could change it. But I like I like it being decorated because, like I said, I think it's funny because for some reason people keep ma ma um uh I don't know. I could go here then climb out. Um uh keep getting both both hit hit the vo the voice his voice sat there and Deku's voice sat there mixed up for some reason or another. So that's why it's just funny to keep it as a Deku. Are we not taking the boat this time? It's nice to walk from time to time, isn't it? Think of it as something like a hiking trip. Once we're there, we can stay a few days before we return. Sounds good. I haven't walked this road in a long time. And it's raining. I've had enough of that for, 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 for now in the UK. I don't want to say it, I don't want to say it, because I, I seem to keep jinxing. Every time I say I'll fight in the rain, it's stopping from now. I keep saying, because I said it, I checked the weather wasn't going to rain today, but now it's raining later today. I'm going to have to go to work. And I'm afraid to say, oh, the rain's eventually going to stop, because it's not going to be raining tomorrow, but I might I might get up in the morning and says, no, but actually, fuck you, it's raining. Well, we've walked far enough for now. Let's take a break. Since we're out for a walk, we shouldn't stress too much about the destination. Yeah, because according to right now, checking the weather, at least where I am, it's going to be raining around 5 p.m. And then, according to that, after that, for the next uh, over a week, it isn't raining, but I don't trust it. <laughs> I've grown old, so I'm not as fit as before. It's a good thing that at least my work down in the fortress was quite the workout. Well, Pina thinks you're doing great. We didn't have to slow down for you at all. <laughs> Back in the days before the Aquabus lines were built, we often had to hike north with our goods, then catch a boat to the court. Malus and I must have traveled this way hundreds of times. When we were tired, we would lay down for a while on the grass, and when we were hungry, we'd catch a fish or two. Vespina was still on the rise back then. Mr. Callus was generous, and everyone had the chance to strike it rich. So, of course, we all worked really hard. And now, in the blink of an eye, the Aquabus lines have been built, and this road has fallen into disuse. Don't we think it is, it, is that a bad thing, though? Oh, I know. I was just being a little nostalgic. Then let's stay here a bit longer. Anyone want snacks? Ooh. Oh, is this another chance to try some of Navia's macrons? Macrons? I've been dreaming of them. So she looked at her, she said, macrons? Macrons? I do love some macrons. Oh god, now it's making me feel hungry. <laughs> yep, I figured you wouldn't say no to a few more. Oh, uh, wait. Let me check if I have all the ingredients. Uh, Malus and Silver used to take care of tasks like this. Uh, okay, the stove's looking good. And as for the ingredients, uh, seems like we're all out of flour and sugar. Uh, the two most important ingredients of all. Oh shit, I should go 
get some. Oh, would you? Oh, but it would be too much to ask you to go on a trip just for those. This is where we're nowhere near a shop. We should contribute to making the macaron too! Don't worry, we cook out in the wild all the time, so he should have some stuff on hand. Oh, that's great. Then I'll leave the ingredient gathering to you. As long as we have some sweet flowers and wheat, I can start the baking. Sweet flowers used to make, um, mochin, though. Not macarons. I mean, you could just mix sugar into the flour and then it would be sweet flour, I guess. Then I'll go look for some boxes nearby for a makeshift table and chairs. Great. Then I'll prep the stove. Let's get to work, everyone. There's the stove. Bang. I keep forgetting I've got like a shit ton of recipes. I wish it, I, you know, this one thing I wish it again, Genjin, is like when I click on these, it should have like a thing next that's saying new. Because I have no idea which one that was. Because I don't remember all the rest. Because I don't really cook on this, because I've got, um, I've got fucking, uh,. What are you doing, Bell? Snooking stuff over. Uh, I've got Barbara for healing. And that's the new one. Okay, so is that by a new? No. I don't think it was, oh, so it does set them down there. That was it then. Okay. Ooh, that looks interesting. And that means that new one would be. I got a lot of blue ones more than it. Ooh. Let's see if I'm right on this. Because if that is the case. No, never mind then. Because that was there now. Well, like, I don't have news at the top. It's really weird because there's no way of selecting any other methods. I don't. Unless that did it. What did that do? <coughs> I think that's based on like. Yeah. Okay, I'll just select a few of these. Because the filters only just have like rest. Yeah, it's just that. Okay. Let's get to all these and see, what see if I recognize anything new. Looking at all this food's making me hungry now. Oh no, that's new. That definitely wasn't there. I've seen this actually in real life before. I might have personally had it myself. This is the thing, once you've got a good healer, you don't mean I mean, some of the defense ones and, and attack things could be handy at least, but... Oh, looks good. This game purposely wants to make me feel fucking hungry. Okay, that's everything now. Let's go and talk to. We really have. Uh, how did it go? Did you find the ingredients? I, I most, yes. I, f I thought I would have the ingredients already. Because I have habit just grab everything I see. Because you never know when you might need it for situations like these for mission stuff. So you have to go around. Can I get the recipe for it? part. Just leave the rest to me. <laughs> Your cooking is as good as ever, Navia. So I just love the way she says macarons. Boss's baking skills have always been famous. Everyone in the Spina knows how exceptionally talented she is. Mm -hmm. Those macarons do look delicious. They're so big, though. 
Oh, <laughs> it's just a hobby. There's no need to praise me for it like that. Have you two seriously never considered joining us? You're so close to the boss, and she obviously trusts you with all her heart, so... There's still some important things we must do. Oh, yeah, I see. Is that why you have to always stay on the road? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you just happened to walk in on our little reunion. It's actually been quite a while since we last spent time together. Adventurers never stay in one place for long. The name of Spina di Rosula would just tie them down. Besides, after everything we've been through together, I'm sure our hearts would remain intertwined even if we found ourselves on opposite sides of the world. Aww, that's right now, Avril. Even if Paima was far beyond the horizon, she'd still remember the delicious taste <laughs> of Navia's macaron. <laughs> uh... I understand now. Then I am very lucky indeed to have been graced with the chance to meet the two of you. I will endeavor to make the most of this short yet fortuitous encounter and enjoy every moment we spend together. We've got no wine with us, but let's still toast with water in celebration of this moment. Well, the traveler and Pine were underage either way. Then again, I don't know what legal, legal consent uh, to drink in the in Devat is, though. Or is it Tevat? Or do, how if I can pronounce the land? Oh, is it? Oh no, thank you. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't the legal age of drinking can deviate from depending on which region, just like in real life? So we're more likely to say what legal age to drink is in 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 post in, in. Wow, my brain went dead in uh, Fontaine. Well, it's based off of fraud, and. <laughs> I, I actually don't know what the legal age of drink is in France. I think it's like same as here in the UK. I think it's eighteen. The traveler definitely looks younger than for eighteen. So he won't be drinking any alcohol anytime soon. And obviously, Pyman's not eighteen, unless she's like that goddess bullshit thing where she looks like a child, but she's actually like thousands of years old or something. I thought I heard something just now. What is it? Just some small crisps. Cheers! Cheers! What are you doing? Quick, join in on the toast. Cheers! May your travels go smoothly. May the spina continue to grow, and may our friendship last until the end of time. Oh, those macaroons are huge, though. <laughs> All set. Let's move out then. What was I in the asked some old acquaintances in town to make Adele's uniform. So we should be able to pick it up right away. Hiding in the bushes. Someone was in here, I know I saw it. And now it's raining. Just like in England. One minute it's nice and sunny and then out of the rain comes thundering down. Look at now it's longer raining. <laughs> there, Ludovine. How's business lately? Ah, the demoiselle of Spina de Rosula. I must say, your generous patronage is the one thing keeping me from going bankrupt. <laughs> Nonsense. We all know what a talented businesswoman you are. No, oh, mm -hmm. don't forget, she's the boss now. My mistake, my mistake. I just got so used to calling her demoiselle. Demoiselle. Are you here for the uniform? Yep. I forgot to drop by earlier when I was running errands around here. <laughs> I didn't expect Demoiselle to come and pick it up in person. It's just a uniform after all. Any of your folks could have come instead. Navia's always liked to take even small things seriously. Hey, that's not the only reason I'm here. We mostly just needed a walk to clear our heads. There are few things more uplifting than taking the first step on a new journey. 
Why else not? <laughs> Boss has got a point. Going on a trip with friends is always better than staying cooped up at home. Eh, I don't have any friends, so I can't really, I can't really say <laughs> if that's the case. Very well. Please, wait here while I retrieve the uniform for you. Uh, can someone remind Paimon again why Adele wants to join the Spina? <laughs> she hasn't given me any concrete reasons. All she says is that she really looks up to me. Aww, that's sweet. After we cleared her father's name, she became a lot more cheerful and outgoing. It's probably because she now knows for sure that her father was never a bad person. She said she used to be terrified of Papa, so as a result, she found all the rest of the Spina super scary as well. It's like fucking ninjas, just checking to see the bells as much as knocking me over. Let's see ya. Oh, she's hiding somewhere. Oh, she sneaked out the room when I wasn't looking. But the Spina is very different now. She mustered up the courage to talk to me and felt like I could really understand her. The two of you have. Yeah, you could say that. By uncovering the truth about the case, I was able to give her closure at the same time. She said that she wanted to become someone like me. Someone who could lend a hand to others, instead of standing still and waiting for others to help her. From the sound of it, she'll be a wonderful addition to the Spina. I think so too. But for now, Let's focus on giving her a great atmosphere to grow and thrive. She can commit to us once she's older, and can really make that decision for herself. I, so I wasn't just hearing things. Is something up, Traveler? The ceiling. Huh? Oh, shit, I think I just killed... Ceiling? Oh, Paimon's coming. I wasn't paying attention, I just clicked and didn't... So I chose whatever. I'll go check it out too. Most of choice most Please of the hold on to this for me. Most choices in this aren't really choices, they're just like uh like a coloring book. They don't really change anything, it's still it's still ha it's still the same picture at the end of the day. Uh, Alright. All left. I went saw them too! They had it up! Stop right there! Stop, criminal scum! I was, oh wait, fight! <laughs> I was like, why are we going so slow? I do have a dash, uh, let's sprint button. We knew you were going to be difficult! I'm gonna kick your asses! Seems like if we want them to talk, we're gonna need to teach them a lesson first. Brothers, there's no need to skulk in the dark anymore. Let's take them out! Yeah, with what? <laughs> Ah, uh, I actually really have Navia. Ow, rude. Get her, I'm quite a fucking has a gun in it. Umbrella warfare, I guess. Ha <laughs> What the fuck is he using? Oh. You want a tango, big boy? This one's got your name on it. Headshot! Oh, you messed with the animation. We're gonna now, show you using talk. big guns. Who are you? And why were you tailing us? <sighs> Don't think we'll let you off easy if you keep silent. <sighs> <sighs> How did it go, boss? Are any of you hurt? Nope. <laughs> if you thought they stood any chance against us, you were sorely mistaken. Anyway, stop playing tough and start talking. There won't be any room for negotiation once the Maison Guardianage gets involved. We were looking to get vengeance on Spina di Rasula. 
So I just looked over and I just realized someone just followed. I'm so sorry. That light is so annoying because sometimes it will it will go it'll make a sound go off and scare the living daylights out of me. Or sometimes it won't make a noise at all and I won't notice it. I do apologize, but thank you for following. We were discovered. If you're still here. We can't beat you in a fight. We admit it. We lost. Get revenge? Wait, you're not Romeo's followers, are you? You actually know that name? Yeah, we do. Well, but all if of you it. do, then surely you should understand why we hate you so much. I advise you to calm down. Indeed. You haven't got the faintest hope of winning right now. Hey, Bell, she should, she should yet sneak out of the room. I was looking around and you weren't here. You sneaky little madam, aren't you? We were out drinking when we saw Navia. We got so angry we decided to follow you guys and look for an opportunity to really mess up your day. Well, you failed, bitch! Too bad you guys messed up ours first. You're lying! Huh? You followed us all the way here. You're pretty sharp, but so what? We didn't do anything, and now it should be pretty obvious that we can't do anything to you anyway. Seeing you like that just really ticked us off, and we let the drink go to our heads. Listen, Callus is long dead. No matter what happened in the past, I want to be able to start things anew. I am the current president of Spina di Rosula. If your boss wants to talk with me, I'd be happy to meet with him. I won't press charges for your attack. That should also help demonstrate my sincerity. I mean, we kicked their asses, so it wasn't really much of a, much, so much of an attack. I understand. Thank you. I'll let our boss know. But if you so much as think about pulling something like this again, I won't be so lenient next time. Understood? All right. We get it. Come on, let's go. You should bring out their big cannons. Uh, are you sure it's okay to just let them go like that, Navia? I don't want to inherit my father's grudges, too. Uh, moreover, when it comes to the Aquabus, I don't think what my father did was entirely correct either. If the other side is willing to talk, I'm happy to open the door for a reconciliation. Opportunities for new beginnings are all around us. I support Boss's decision as well. The concept of an eye for an eye is a primitive practice that has no place in today's Spina di Rosula. Yes. Plus, we already know that they're strapped for cash. If their financial situation is that dire, they don't have what it takes to challenge us. So this may be the best time to talk. I still think we should keep an eye out for Romeo's folks, though. If he decides to ignore the warning I gave his men, then we could still have a fight on our hands. Most likely. Yeah, those guys definitely didn't look like big fans of yours. I'd rather things not go that far, since, though we haven't talked to each other for years, once upon a time we were all a part of the Spina di Rosula family. Yep, that's how I feel as well. Anyway, now that we've sent them packing, we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. It's getting late already, so why don't we stay the night in the Fleuve Sandra? We can head back to Poisson tomorrow. What's I'll also ask someone to write Florent a letter and inform him of everything that happened here today so he can increase security around Poisson and be on guard against any suspicious individuals. Do we have to stay in the Fleuve Sondo again? Even the pillows there smell like seaweed. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, that's just what happens when you live near water and don't get much sunlight. Poisson's pretty much the same, though, so I've long since gotten used to it. We can still go out in the evening for some grilled fish and drink, so. Bet you there'll be people singing sea shanties, too. How does that sound? Oh. Huh. That does sound pretty cool. Okay, Paima's on board now. Let's go. Paima wants to sing, too. <laughs> Kind of sea shanties. The only sea shanties. Oh, that's the uniform. So it was, it was right. It was like a tie thing. Is what would you do? What do you do? A drunken sailor. What do you do? A drunken sailor. Early in the morning. That's about it. This is as far as I know, is as um fucking sea shanties goes. Hey, hey, up it rises, hey, hey, up it rises, hey, hey, up it rises, early in the morning. Oh, shit, me fell. Still fell. Coming back here really does feel like this place is starting to grow on Paimon. I thought that was a bed a minute ago. Like, I was like, why is that bed just in the middle of this area? It's not, it's a table, I think. If you think about it, it would be kind of weird if the Spina's base at the court was some super luxurious building like the Palais Marmonia. Someone's on my desk right now. <laughs> totally. Right on the money, Paimon. Although, of course, with the continued growth of the Spina, Papa wanted Poisson to eventually grow into a metropolis, not unlike the court. He was a very ambitious man, who rarely looked behind or beneath him. For better or worse, that always made him stand out from the crowd. Come on my lap, come on my lap. And that's also why people hated him just as much as they loved him. Mm -hmm. you got a cat on my lap. Cat on my lap. So I'm not, scratch I'm not scratching my chest I'm, and I'm petting Dales. Alright. Uh, why don't you go wait for me at the restaurant? I'll go do some prep and I'll get someone to tidy up your room while I'm at it. You can use the same room as last time. You still remember the room number, yeah? Yeah, 69, isn't it? <laughs> yep, yep. Kind of hard to forget when there are only so many rooms here, after all. Oh, did I just hear someone taking a dig at Fleuv Sandra? I'll tell my guys to stuff your pillows full of actual seaweed right now. Oh, Paimon, sorry! Please have mercy, Navia. If you do that, then Paimon really won't be able to sleep at all. <laughs> I was just kidding. Be on your way now. I guess I'm finally on the oh, just take a seat. Give me to click on that. No ah, I thought so. Should have to take a seat. Hello, are you asleep yet? No, Navia. Oh no, not at all. I just figured that since we don't get to enjoy nights like these very often, we should try to enjoy it to the fullest. Wanna go fishing? I've got some rods and lures ready. Oh, so that's the prep you were talking about. Oh, welcome. Do a little fishing? <laughs> well, hopefully I didn't wake you or anything. You're good. Don't worry. You don't have to do any actual fishing if oh. you're too tired. Just think of it as keeping me company. How does that sound? Okay, let's go. To the fishing spot. All the way out here. 
Okay. Damn it, the nearest fast travel point is actually not that near. It's actually here. I could go there, but I'll be under war, won't it? Ah, it's going to spend nothing. I'm going to go up and out, out, out of the water. Is that an orange? Oh, it's still one I, Okay, we've got a weird thing around us. Did I activate something? Call this fishing when you're using a fully automatic rod! <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> What's the problem? Lots of people in Poisson use rods like these. But... But shouldn't fishing be all about... You know, attentively watching the float and then excitedly reeling in the catch when you finally hook something? Well, that's one way to enjoy fishing. What do you think, Traveler? I don't like Pylon's me me method most. <laughs> that's how I feel as well. To me, I'm happy as long as I catch some fish. Like closing up, don't you? Like cut, you got your little cuddles. Maybe an old lady, you got your cuddles too, don't you? Still your bells. She doesn't have much of a loud purr, so I doubt it'll be picked up. Them like she has a very quiet purr, don't you? Honestly, Paimon's mainly shocked at how much energy you still have at this hour. Usually by this time of night, it's a struggle for Paimon to even keep her eyes open. Huh. It might just be something that runs in my family. That's a thing? <laughs> I'm sure you'd get even sleepier if I delved more deeply into it. Anyway, I was just thinking about how grateful I am to my mother. Your as well mother. as the rest of the Spina. My father always had a lot of unrealistic expectations for me. But the more that he tried to get me to become like him, the less I wanted to listen to what he had to say. My mother never had those kinds of expectations, though. I've heard that she had only one wish for me, which was that I would have a happy and secure childhood. All the members of the Spina greatly respected her wish, so no matter what I did as a child, they were happy to humor me. <laughs> Can you imagine? Whenever my father wanted to scold me for something I'd done, Everyone would form up into two rows and just stand silently and listen to him rant. Malus and Silver were always there, too. No matter what Papa yelled, nobody else would say a word. Eventually, Papa must have recognized scolding me over trivial matters was pointless, because he eventually stopped getting on my case so often. Paimon would have never guessed. <laughs> Yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. When I was young, I often thought that I could do whatever I wanted, because there'd always be someone there to clean up after me. But once, I saw Malus come back wounded. He wouldn't tell me how he'd been injured, but I could tell it had something to do with me. I learned then that there's always a cost to making a mistake. The more you care about those around you, the more you should care about doing the right thing to the best of your abilities. Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. Love ya. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. I wasn't planning to talk about sad things tonight. Basically, 
I was just saying that the nurturing atmosphere of the Spinner must have been my mother's legacy, rather than my father's. And if that's the only way that I can continue to feel her love, then I'd like to pass that warmth on. Aww. Is that why you let those guys go today? Mm-hmm. Although, maybe there's a part of not wanting to repeat the mistakes of the past. I want to be reasonable, at least. Hey, look! I think you've got something on the line! We wonder if it was a dead body. Oh, there must be something wrong with how I installed the mechanism. It was my first time putting one of those rods together. I'm a more sure adult, and I can definitely not smirk at every time they say rod. <laughs> oh, I can't. We can't let it get away. Come on, you two. Let's catch it. Y you want Paimon to help too? <sighs> <laughs> Sometimes you finally manage to reel in the prize match together. For the for the night you you won. Now but have luck but it's only been that. You didn't attach a hook to your line? What? Stop wasting time! The boss ain't gonna wait all day! <gasps> we'll go ahead with the operation tomorrow. Do with that information as you wish. Oh, I was <laughs> well, right. Your rod was missing a part, too, so... I guess that makes it fair. Well, if we're just talking about the number of missing parts, sure. Oh, oh, never mind. Paimon really can't keep her eyes open anymore. <laughs> All right. Go to bed. I had a great time today. See you tomorrow, Navia. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Ah, so how was last night? Did you get a good night's sleep? Paimon dreamt that she danced with the sea stars, so you could say it was stellar. <laughs> get it? <laughs> huh. <laughs> she doesn't seem very amused by it. And just. And 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 just where did you get that from? <laughs> I didn't know you had such a great sense of humor. Before we hang out with Sino. Si See, this guy gets it. <laughs> anyway, let's head out. I'll arrange for a boat to take us back to Poisson. I'm sure Adele will be happy to see you two again. Paimon hopes she'll really appreciate your gift. I hope so too. Excuse me, oh dear. from the court, too. Whoa! Thank you so much, boss! Oh, now I remember. This is the point where I said before this game being, uh, being as long as it is and so many different stories, stuff, especially when it happens a lot of, like, months ago at this point. It's hard to remember so many smaller characters and that. Now I now remember. Don't call her boss, okay, Adele? Just Miss Navia would be fine. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind. Besides the gift, I've also got another surprise. Guess who's here? <sighs> it's been a while! Hello there. Hello again. 
Oh, it's you two. It has been a while indeed. <sighs> Thank you so much for your help on Jacques' case. I've heard that you also help save all of Fontaine. You're truly just like the great heroes of legend. You're really amazing. And if Miss Navi is your friend, then she must be super amazing too. What's in this thing? Can I look? Of course. Go ahead. Aww. Oh, it's a Sfina di Rosula uniform. Is it for me? But well, oh, it's a gift for future you. When you first told me that you were interested in joining the Sfina, I was overjoyed. But it's the Spina's responsibility to protect everyone as well. Being a member means becoming involved in all kinds of dangerous situations. And since you're still young, I don't want your mom to have to worry about your safety. So, I turned you down then by telling you that you'll have to wait until you're older. But this uniform is a promise that you can join us once you're old enough to wear it. When is old enough I've, just, I've seen enough anime and it's like you, you, I mean, people made memes about it but it's it, like do you have a like, characters who are like still children but in the universe oh that's old enough yeah 14 to be thrown into dangerous situations life and death seeing horrible fucked up shit yeah that's a, that's an uh, appropriate age for that I don't mean old enough, I mean, they mean like 18 or older, like a, a full grown adult, like that tw past the 20s. That's, that's an adult. Oh, so that's it. Well, thank you so much, Miss Navia. I'll work hard and grow up as fast as I can. <laughs> uh, but you can't really grow up faster by working hard. You've got to be patient. Everyone, I'm really grateful that you remembered my daughter's wish and took it seriously. Thanks to the protection of the Spina, even though her father's no longer with us, we've still felt plenty of warmth and security. Oh, it's the least we could do. As long as you live in Poisson, even Poisson? if you're not an official member, you're still part of the family. Boss! Well, this sounds like shit's about to hit the fan. Huh? Is something up, Laurent? I've got something urgent to report. Romeu and his folks have gathered outside Poisson and even shipped in a huge pile of explosives. I guess they're trying to show that they're the bomb. <laughs> eh? Eh? What? Explosives? What do they want? A chat. And that's why they got explosives. I mean, to blow the fucking place to kingdom come. It seems like they've been planning this for some time. We started investigating as soon as we received your letter yesterday. But Romeu and his folks must have gotten wind as well. Because they abandoned their former posts before we could even check on them. We investigated their tracks and found out that they're after Poisson. Could they have smartened up since we caught them red-handed at the court? Seems like they've got no interest in sitting down and talking at all. We should have gone straight to the Maison Guardianage. Sorry, I, I underestimated the situation. Well, too late now, I suppose. Florent, where are they keeping their explosives? On the hill to the east of Poisson. Near the Clementine line. Wait, could that mean... They want to blow up the Clementine line? Certainly sounds like it. Romeu and his followers hate the Spina and everything to do with Callus. And the Aquabus was the source of their contention. If they manage to blow up the Aquabus line, all that rubble will come crashing down the hill and straight into Poisson. Are they insane? There's tons of innocent people in Poisson! We have to stop them. Yeah. 
If they've been planning this for ages, they're definitely not going to let this opportunity slip by. We have to issue an evacuation order to the townspeople, and get them as far away from the entrance as possible. That should save them from the worst of it. Let's get everyone onto our ship. That should be the safest place. <sighs> My dear partner, can I leave the Clementine line to you? If the explosives do go off, not only would the people of Poisson be in danger, any aquabuses using the line would plummet to the ground. Let's stop their insanity first, then settle the score with them. Got it. Leave it to us, Navia. Please stay safe, too. Time to kick it. Ass. But to choose the bubble gum and kick some ass. Let's go, you two. We've got to act fast. Miss Coralie, please take Adele to the ship. Know it. Watch out, boss! <sighs> what do you think you're doing, Coulter? I thought all the annoying little hindrances had left, but I still couldn't get rid of you. Uh, you mean this was all a trick? So that you'd be left alone with me? Coulter, are you with Romeo too? Oh. <laughs> I get it now. You knew about their plans all along. You only told us they were doing badly so that we'd drop our guard. Not quite. Though I share their positions on some issues, I've never cared for his more radical ideas. And that's because, out of the entire Spina di Rosula, I only hate you. Only you, Navia. You better stick close to me. Romeu promised me that he would leave Poisson alone if I could just take you out. But it was like you were glued at the hip to that pesky traveler. You never gave me a chance to make my move. Romeo has lost his patience. I didn't have to be here today, you know. But I swore that I'd kill you, even if it meant being buried with you in the rubble. Why? Only someone as clueless about the past as you would ask such a foolish question. You never saw the heyday of Spina di Rosula, nor did you ever live through the golden age of Poisson. But I, I saw it all with my own eyes, and then I had to watch it all die, little by little. Okay, I see where this is going. And it was all because of you, Navia. Yep. Classic, I blame you for the, the fall of the thing I love the most. Clementine died because of you. Callus died because of you. Malus and Silver died because of you. And so many more dead. Everyone dead. All because of you. So the shock and grief you showed us before, that was an act too? Now you're catching on. I heard Malus was dead the moment I got out. Did you know, down there in that blasted fortress, I spent a long time thinking about what happened and resolving to apologize to Malus as soon as I got out. Back then, because of that aqua bus, we had a huge fallout. I was convinced that all he cared about was loyalty and that he had completely lost his capacity for critical thinking. The years passed by in a blur after that. I thought I had finally begun to understand him, and that he could help me relive the good old days again. But then he died, and it was because of you again, Navia. It's always because of you. <laughs> I once loved the Spina and Poisson more than anyone else. But what is left now of either besides death and ruin? You've single-handedly destroyed everything that was beautiful. Everything I've ever loved. Don't listen to him, boss. He's just spouting nonsense. Have you ever considered that maybe the people around you don't actually care about you at all? 
Have you ever considered that maybe you only get respect because you're Callus and Clementine's child? That you've never done anything worthy? That you're just a big nothing? Have you ever considered that maybe people don't stay in Poisson because of you, but only because they have such beautiful memories of the past before you came? Because if you do falter, there'll inevitably come a time when you'll have to face the consequences. And when that time comes, those most precious to you really will throw themselves in front of you and pay the price for your mistakes. <laughs> yeah, looking back on it now as an adult, I can hardly believe how patient and kind everyone was. But is that really why they support me? Is their kindness real? Shut your mouth! I, for one, really like Miss Navia, and my mom loves her too! What if I just swore and said to someone, Shut the fuck up, asshole! <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but I like her, and that's that! Aww. I'm sure Mr. Malus would be extremely disappointed in you right now! You've somehow managed to pin the blame for every mistake and tragedy in our history on the boss herself! Get out of the way, Floron. I don't want to hurt you. What tough shit. You're gonna have to. Boss, there's no time for this. Stop hesitating and get out of here before you get buried. Maybe you think you're being the realist by painting the history of the Spina and Poisson like this. But the love that I felt from everyone was just as real. I felt it. They've helped me get to where I am. And even now, I will continue to believe in that love. So let me show you just how much I love the Spina di Rosula. I'm trying to kick ass. There's something to kick ass. Umbrella warfare, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it, he went down like a budge. He's not dead yet. Feeling lucky? You feel lucky, punk? Do you? Uh, Time to bring out the big guns. Literally. Uh -huh. That's the way. <laughs> Feeling lucky? Oh, it brings back yeah. like hellfire along the way. From? It's not just like <laughs> one big massive gunfire. Hell. F oh, track it. Florent, I'll leave the town to you. Cool. Summon the other members and help with the evacuation of the townspeople. If you find any of Coulter's accomplices, subdue them quickly and don't give them the chance to harm any ordinary civilians. I can't allow my partner to face the danger on the Clementine line alone. Got it, boss. I'm on it. Are you okay, Navia? I don't know, but I have to go. Let's hurry up there. We have to protect the Clementine line. If they're gonna blow up the waterway, they must have planted the explosives next to the support pillars. That makes sense. Time to defuse some bombs. Oh, we actually are on the timer. Shit. Well, that in that case, see you, bitches. I'm out of 5,000. Oh, we gotta find them. Oh, fuck this <laughs> guy. Ah, there we go. I see explosives. <sighs> Hello, bitches. Time for an ass kicking with some fire. Just fist them all. You know, I want actually done this stuff explosives. <laughs> Go big boy. Propagate. These must be the explosives, right? 
And this is the control mechanism. Uh, how can we disable it? Kick it. Oh, I'm too scared to touch any of this stuff. What's what's that keyhole? Huh? There's a strangely shaped hole here. What is it for? I should stick my dick in it. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, slam it in there, see what happens. You know, <laughs> locked. Could it be some sort of keyhole? Oh, that certainly sounds possible. Uh, maybe one of the people we just beat up has the key. Okay, you take this side, Paima will take the other. Let's see what we can find. Okay, she's just gonna take that side, I'll take this side. He, he had a... He had a radish in him for some reason. It was up his ass. Oh, you found it! That's amazing! Where was the other guy? Why am I in first person? Well, he had money, not anymore. Ha! Twist the key, turn the shim sh machine off. That should do it, right? Mm -hmm. Nadia and Florent should be able to relax now. We should still check out out the just in case. Oh, you're right. They could have set explosives elsewhere too. Let's go. Cutscene time. That's what that was. I heard from Thierry that even they're your enemies now. They were once a part of Spina di Rusula. Do you plan to settle this privately with them? I have nothing more to say to them. Regardless of whether their hatred and anger towards me or the Spina was justified, anyone who's willing to endanger innocent civilians is no longer sane enough to even be worth trying to talk to. Uh, she has a point there. Please prosecute them in accordance to the law. Spina di Rosula will not raise any objections. And put them under the guillotine. Sounds good. We're very appreciative of your help. Without it, the consequences would have been far worse. All right, this operation is a wrap. Take him away. We won, Nadia! We saved everyone! Uh. And you are so cool! Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we were just in time. You look a little pooped. It's probably because I expended too much elemental energy at once. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. It's always interesting about the elemental energy. Uh, 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 elemental energy. You got Klee who can make fucking giant, massive motherfucking explosions, and then you got Navio who can go make fucking cannonball fire. Uh, but you usually glow up whenever other people compliment you. Paimon's not used to seeing you like this. Hmm. 
Boss, we managed to catch all the infiltrators in the town. The Maison Guardianage is taking them away as well. Seems like Romeu really went all in on this mission. If he sent literally everyone he had, though, that also means we've caught them all, too. We won't have to worry about them from now on. Ah, got it. That's good, at least. <sighs> That's why I had a knock at the door. Coulter. I can understand how you feel. The things that we lost, they're forever beyond our grasp now. And that makes them appear even more precious. I am not callous, and I will also never become him. The Spina and the Poisson that you loved are both gone. But I will not change how I feel about our future. I still believe that this is a great opportunity to start anew. I will spend more of what the Spina earns on the betterment of Poisson. What's more, I'd also like to propose some changes to the Aquabus routes. So that one day, the people of Poisson will enjoy the boons it brings as well. I know what you're trying to say. Mr. Callus would never have said anything like that. There are too many things in life that are just beyond our control. In that, we are the same. Henceforth, you are no longer a member of Spina di Rosula. But once you're discharged from the fortress again... <laughs> again. You're welcome to pay another visit to Poisson. Poisson? Thank you, Navia. As I thought, Boss really is a kind and gentle person. She is also, I must say, a truly unlucky person. Thank you for protecting the Clementine line. I was actually really scared, you know. I mean, even the Callus line won't be getting rebuilt anytime soon. Did they do that much damage to her? If I'd lost the Clementine line too, I wouldn't know how to live with myself. A name is a way to etch a memory onto the world. Losing the line that bears her name, that I can see every day, would be like losing my mother all over again. Seeing it still standing there, tall and proud, it makes me really happy. What happened while we were gone? Honestly, you look more upset than tired or anything. Just give her some time. It's okay, everything's fine now. Mm. Thank you so much. Can you give me a hand? I really don't have much strength left. Oh, does someone need a hug? Traveler, I want to ask you something. And please, tell me the truth. Well, actually, you are giving her a hand. The child is much shorter than she is, so that might be leaning really far down for that. Do you really see me as your partner? Of course. Huh. That's good then. Hearing that, it brings me more relief than I can say. It's always really weird when you hear the traveler uh, or the OTV uh, How do you feel, talk Nadia? out loud. Any better after taking a break? Mm. I feel quite a bit better. But I should probably still rest for a few more days. Sorry, partner. I said some weird things earlier. Uh, feel free to just ignore me. A little weird, that's true. I used to think that I'd never doubt myself. But... You could say I've discovered that I'm not as strong as I thought I was. 
Coulter mentioned my parents, as well as Malus and Silver. It's all thanks to them that I've made it this far in life. Do you think they ever regretted the choices they made? Has my existence made this world a better place? Don't think like that, Navia. You've already done more than enough. No matter what others think, we'll always support you to the end of the world. Well, since it's ended up like this, I suppose it's time for me to make a confession as well. There's something that I've been keeping from you as well, boss. Please, follow me. Everything is already prepared. Uh, Florent, I hope you can understand that I can't deal with any more shocking revelations right now. <laughs> Don't worry. This surprise will be a pleasant one. Is it a statue? And it's statues. This is an, oh, that's okay. I think it is. I think it's the statues. It's been interesting because I don't think we ever saw what her father looked like. We don't know what her mother looks like. No, wait, no, we did. We did see him during that case in the flashback. Makes a thing. <laughs> that was a while ago now. I can get the statues. Why is everyone gathered here? And what's this? This was supposed to be a gift to you from everyone in the town. We were originally planning to show it to you once it was finished. But special times call for special measures. I've never seen you look so defeated before. So I've decided to show you the designs before the final product was done. I... Uh, do I really look that bad? Well, if you're ready, I'll unveil the present. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, so that's what... No, okay, we never did see what our father looked like. <gasps> So her father wore an eye patch. Dude looks like a badass. This is... Papa. Mother. And me. Jesus Christ, I've heard her father is very tall or, or Navi is very short. We designed the look for Miss Clementine based on old camera records. As well as personal recollections from members of Espina. Wow! This is the statue you mentioned before? It is indeed. To be honest, we decided on the design a long time ago, and gave the sculptor permission to begin working. We only asked Boss to decide on a design so she wouldn't realize we had already started. How could we only have statues of Mr. Callus and Mrs. Clementine? Even though Boss is still young, We've all seen the work she's put in regarding the whole synth business and the rebuilding of Poisson. Poisson? We wanted to commemorate her contributions with the statue as well. <laughs> Find some low pal. I don't know what Spina di Rosula was like in the past. No but shit. I know it's a great organization now. You weren't even born. Yet, yeah, kid. With Navia around, we're not worried about this place's future. We're gathered here today to tell our boss... 
that we support you and believe in you wholeheartedly. Aww. I believe everyone is here for you, not the glory days. That's what we believe as well. I also... I will... I also always will believe in the bonds between us. Thank you so much, everyone. Then I'll be brave and just accept everyone's support for what it is. This really is quite the surprise. I never thought that I'd have the chance to stand next to my mother. Not even in my wildest dreams. Aww. Oh, but she's still allowed to talk to her. Why does talk to her? It seems like I started to question myself a bit too much. I'll pick myself up again and become a more reliable president. For all of you. Looking back on it, I am honestly embarrassed by how I acted earlier. <laughs> yeah, from... I'm sure everyone longs for that one thing in life that seems trivial to others, but they themselves can never obtain. To me, that would be a family portrait. I've always been super jealous of other people's family photos. I've never thought I'd receive a family portrait of my own. Especially not like this. This seems like I'm not such an unlucky person after all. This guy, I can't pet. Little ginger cat here. Alright then. Also, these, these characters. I always. Like, as a brain of mine, like, these characters' um, missions always are a little. Uh, it's, it's a good, I love I love side missions like these in games in general, where they're centered around the, the other characters, and there's a way of, like to get to know them a bit more, and have stories just centered around them. But it's interesting; almost all of them say "to be continued," and yet, still, the only character that isn't an archon that's got more than one quest was uh, <sighs> I've already forgotten the fucking uh, fireworks girl's name. You know what I'm on about. Okay, so She's the only character that isn't an Archon that doesn't have a. Uh, uh, I think I, no, I didn't think that. Um, uh, that doesn't have a. Um, uh, uh, that does. That's had a second story quest. I think. I should actually check that. Let's see if I'm right on that. <sighs> Not that. Not that, damn it. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's. Yes, there we go. I, I, I clearly did have one. I wasn't sure if Clee had one. Yes, because, like, we, we, we've got. All of them always say to be continued, but the only one that's had more than one is. uh. Actually, Venti is actually the only Archon at the moment that hasn't had a second one, I think. That's interesting, because I think yeah, Zhongli has two. Uh, yeah, see, she's the only one with two, which is weird. The Riding Shogun obviously two. And yeah, I just I thought Anita had two, but I wonder if Farina's gonna have one. No one. She most likely will. But it's weird. I didn't realize. It. I thought Venti had two, but yeah, it will be interesting if they ever do go back all the way back to Monster and do any others for the other characters. I guess because with 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 with. With Lisa, I could see him do something more related to uh, the the to, with Samara because it during the Samara thing we found out that she was a uh, uh, she went to the the academy was it called and if, if I heard the proper name so that could be interesting to see but I feel like um, 
It's weird because usually, like I said, hang on, let's realize. Um, usually, in between each stories, there's a the well, except for like Monster because it's prologue, uh, prologue. But uh, after after Monster, pretty much every region's had a, in, a, a an integrate story, which is these ones. See there, and there again. And I think I think uh, Samaras was like was immediately not immediately, but it was like in December last year, but. You haven't done one for uh, Fontaine yet. Yeah, that there yeah, is it, 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 the. Oh no, I'm actually wrong. No, that's the integrated chapter, which was free. But it's this one. Uh, what's this? Oh, well, this is the Traveler's Story. Yes, th no, sorry. Yes, yeah, so there's an integrate. So there's an always an integrated one. I was actually wrong. Yes, yeah, the only like actual ones is that is the Traveler one. I'm thinking of actually. It literally says there. But yeah, it seems like. Alright, yeah, because. Yeah, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. So this one will be chapter four of that. So it might, there might be. So I might. And I'm actually wrong, because they, yeah, because. I, I, I feel like Monster didn't have one, because it was like the. Because it's also released as a prologue, so it wasn't the starting point of the story, so. Uh, it will be interesting to see, but if there isn't, it's not. I, it might be later on down the line, because I think next. Should be not immediately, but should be the 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 uh, uh, Lantern White uh, Festival, which should be like I always forget when it is. I think it's usually like towards the end of January, beginning of February time, because uh, it, it's also the way of like because you know the Chinese New Year. Um, which is usually in February, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Chinese, Chinese New Year, so that's what I think when that event is. But that'll probably be the next time we probably will play Genshin Impact again. I'm trying to actually remember what tomorrow's schedule for tomorrow is. I completely forgot. I think, if I remember correctly, we're going back to a God of War Ragnarok. Yeah, we're doing the Far Hollow DLC because I fancy doing its DLC. And then maybe doing its Platinum one afterwards. Don't know if I'll do it on stream or, or off stream. I'll decide on that because. The one thing that's put me off is the collectibles because they've got those stupid like ravens again and those were in the God of War 2018 and they were pain in the ass to deal with so the God of War Ragnarok is still one of those debatable ones for platinum ones but we will do its DLC which came out oh, last month was it? Yeah. Um, that'd be that'd be fun to do because apparently it's like a roguelike game which I've never really, I don't think I've ever played a roguelike so it'd be an uh, interesting uh, experience for me. Oh, but I think I'll stop now because I can feel my energy going like really really there there <laughs> I think I have to check the alerts again um I will probably look back in the vault and see if it actually appeared on the screen um uh my brain went dead and uh and and see if it at least showed up if not but still appreciate sure appreciate sure want to stop by and uh and uh and my brain is going. Hopefully, it will be better tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hopefully. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for some God of War Ragnarok. Valhalla. DLC.